tiens deux Take the keys to my car There's no place to go I'm happy right where we are Cause I'm a bystool tender Potential fender bender You're a genius with a bottle and a blender You're a style Welcome back to the Bar Stool Tender. Pull up a stool. Today on the show, we're going to have a cocktail that uh, has a name after something I never get at all. So I think you're going to like it. Uh, what happened was I was chasing uh, the best Sazerac cocktail in New Orleans, going to every bar, trying the Sazeracs, but that that's a, a story in itself for another time. But while I was talking to these great bartenders in New Orleans, they were telling me that Sacramento, of all places, is one of the birthplaces of the new craft cocktail revival. Well, I live near Sacramento, and I hadn't heard any of it. But they talked to me about a bar that's here called the Shady Lady. So I had to go and check it out. And you know, you really need to check it out. We may even take a field trip there sometime. I think you'll like it. But while I was there, I was there with my wife, and there were uh, an incredible menu of different drinks with different spirits, um, many of them Prohibition era cocktails. And I picked out one um, that I thought I would have. And I asked the bartender, could I have a last word? Because I can't have one of those at home. So they brought me a cocktail that was delicious, refreshing, potent, fun to drink, and uh, known the world over. So what, what I do is whenever I go to a restaurant, say I'm going to have pub food, I always get the bacon cheeseburger just to compare it to all the other pubs. When I go to a Mexican restaurant, I get the chili relleno. When I go to a breakfast restaurant, I have Eggs Benedict, just so that I have a point of comparison. I use the last word as a point of comparison for craft cocktail bars. It's known the world over, everyone makes it a little different, good to see the little subtle variations and it's a great cocktail. It's easy to make, it's delicious, it's impressive for your friends and, and I'd like to teach you how to make one today. So the last word was developed in uh, Prohibition era in Detroit. Um, it uh, continued on through about the 1940s and then was lost for a long time until Murray Stenson in the Zigzag Cafe in Seattle brought it back in about 2004. Uh, it's made its way around the world and into cocktail guides and because it's so simple and so delicious. Uh, my wife uses it uh, as her flavor profile when she's doing a dealer's choice at a craft cocktail bar. And I highly suggest just giving a crack, uh, craft cocktail bartender your profile and let them play with it. And what she says is, I love the last word, make me something like that. And so they get the idea. Now it's made with a couple uh, very simple ingredients, our lime juice, gin, green chartreuse, you know how I love green chartreuse, and Luxardo cherry, maraschino cherry liqueur. All wonderful, all simple, all in equal measures. Anybody can make this cocktail, so let's make you one right now. I don't have to tell you that fresh juices are essential. You might want to save a little something as a garnish. That's always nice. But we're going to use fresh lime juice. Very important. Uh, I keep threatening to buy an actual citrus juicer because this is labor intensive, especially 
if you're having company over and have to make a few of these. All right, so very simple. Lime juice, equal measures, lime juice. Gin, Luxardo, Chartreuse, green, there's yellow and green now, and there's actually different levels you can buy, but I don't know about using the extra old aged alcohols for cocktail because well you're just mixing it up anyway so into the boston shaker it goes a little tap a little shake nice and cold you want to shake it until you almost can't hold it it's so cold that's how you know your cocktail is ready all right see i uh Set these a little too tight sometimes. Okay, and strainer. Garnish. There you go. A last word. You may actually get to have the last word at your house sometime soon. Simple, elegant, refreshing, delicious. Uh, it's a wonderful cocktail. I hope you enjoy it. I always do. Cheers. Cause I'm a bash to tender Potential first defender And you're a genius with a bottle and a blender You're a